Well, Rocky the Cat wants to give you some advice on uh, magazines because I'm going to tell you a lot of times when you got a quality weapon, you want to get the original factory magazines. Void the aftermarket magazines. Some a lot of times they're not that great. They could be good, but I'm going to tell you in the case of the Beretta 92FS. Um, this is an aftermarket magazine. Actually, it's in this one. This one, particularly, I don't know what brand it is. It's okay. It's blue, though. It's a 20 rounder. I got some 17 round Beretta magazines right here and this actually I'm going to fill them up to 15 rounds because those last two rounds are a real bitch to get in there. <laughs> so um, 15 is going to be okay on a 17 round. Probably there's not going to be a problem leaving them loaded for that length of time anyway for 17 round but I just want you to remember some things. First off get them now before I don't know what's going to happen in the election. <laughs> we might have the hell the beast and if you remember like back when bill became president they had a ban on 30 round magazines that finally sunset it but then again who knows what that thing's going to happen that's a terrorist if you want to know what a terrorist is that's one right there rocky doesn't care though rocky's a cool cat rocky doesn't care because rocky is um you know he just figures it's just another lizard and he'll just eat it so eat it literally so anyway <laughs> um yeah, I'm going to also tell you something about these magazines, too, with bluing. Uh, you probably heard some stories about in Desert Storm and also in the uh, Gulf War, to, you know, the uh, Iraq Gulf War, about these magazines jamming in a Beretta 92 FS. Um, it wasn't actually these magazines. It was an aftermarket magazine that was parkerized. Parkerization does work fine in magazines, but parkerization is designed to, well, really, it's not so much, a, it's not so good as a... Um, we call it parkerization is not so good as preventing rust which is something you don't have to worry about in uh, desert environments but parkerization tracks oil and actually the way oil, uh, parkerization prevents rust is to lightly oil it well you know what happens with light oil absorbed into a park parkerization like if there's some oil on this not as much oil is going to get absorbed on bluing it's none of it's going to get absorbed on bluing it's all on the outside but parkerization it's going to stick on there much better. The oil is going to stick on there much better, and you know what happens with sand. Mm. So these don't. The stock magazines are work fine in dirt and sand. Now I know Beretta also came out with um, a uh, another type of magazine that are called uh, marketed as sand resistant. Okay, but you don't need that. You could have it. It's fine. But I just want to point out this is the time to get your magazines. Before the terrorist gets in the office, I don't know if that thing's going to get in there, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Who the hell knows, man? Who knows? The communist terrorist gets in office, so get your magazines now. Uh, this is ammunition, actually, I reloaded. This is uh, 115 grain, jacket at a hollow point. I don't know what the hell it is. It's uh, probably CCI primers. I know it's Winchester 231 powder. And probably Winchester projectiles. I know it's bulk ammo, but I got lug I got more faith in my I got just as much faith in my reloads as the best factory ammo. So and Rocky does too. He's he's like Rocky's like, you know I'm not worried about it, you know? You can sit here and sleep. <laughs> sleep on my field jacket. See that's my field jacket right there, right? With the hill of beast. <laughs> Fucking lady. Help! Uma Aberdeen. I really feel sorry for you, man. God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Run for the hills, baby. You know, I'll, I'll take you in. Even if you're a Muslim. Who gives a shit? Anyway, so anyway. <laughs> Dye your hair blonde. Um, by the way, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to load these up with 15 rounds. Just want to recommend, you know, spend a few extra bucks. I know, but you know what? You don't have to spend what Beretta wants for these because you can go down to Beretta USA site and um, they're more money. I think I got these from uh, Sportsman's Guide or something or I forget maybe it was them. Not sure but I basically got three for the price of less than two from Beretta USA. <laughs> is that a slam on Beretta USA? No but <laughs> maybe it is. You know, I look for the best value. What the hell? But, you know, if, if, if that thing gets in office, these are going to go up to, like, you know, $800 each. Or, oh, I don't know what the hell they go up to. They'll go up some crazy price, right? Like like last time when Bill became in office, you couldn't get 30-round magazines. Uh, uh, the ban is in place. Yeah, who the hell knows? 
might get an actual get a, a 44 Magnum Winchester lever action too, man. Those are nice. I like those things. To go with my other 44. So I have a combination. Yeah, so I'll put 15. I'll put 15 in the other two. As a matter of fact, I don't know. I might actually just put leave this one empty and just use the stock. Because I could tell you this. I don't know. I never had a problem with this 20 rounder, but I'll tell you one thing, that spring feels lighter than a it definitely feels lighter than this one. This one is like holy shit. Ugh, the Beretta magazine. <laughs> the Beretta the Beretta has um significantly more spring power than this after and I didn't have any problems with this one actually. But then again it's it's not and you won't have a problem with Parker eyes either. As long as it doesn't get dirty, because parkerization, the way you know, because I'll repeat it again, parkerization actually is not a very good rust preventative. It it works really good because it holds oil. That's why it's like a rough. It's like it, the oil sticks in the parkerization. But then, if you got the oil in the parkerization, it's better on guns than it is on magazines. You know, then they got some other freaking mag. So you want plain blue. The plain blue magazines work better with the Beretta. Um, as far as they also Beretta, since Beretta got these complaints about their weapons jamming on Desert Storm, un, not related to their stock magazines, it was the Parkerized aftermarket magazines that the freaking government got for the freaking military. Ah, uh, you know. So Beretta actually addressed this issue, which was not even an issue with the Steiner magazines, and they made magazines that are called sand resistant so you can even get a more sand resistant of course the military is going to look at another pistol now and say oh this pistol's you know god freaking stupid maybe they won't <laughs> i don't know maybe they won't i guess if they went with a sig that might be good but i don't know about anything else so beretta's actually fine it actually actually this slide on the top you see this big open slide you get this big open slide across the top there this thing a lot of people say oh that attracts dirt well, you know what? I don't know how the hell it works, but you can throw this weapon in dirt, and it works, okay? Even with this open slide like that, it, it, even, it just seems like it cleans it out faster or something. I don't know how it works exactly. There's less, maybe it's because there's less gripping surface over here going across the barrel. This weapon doesn't seem to jam at all very well in dirt. It just seems to work. Actually, I can tell you that's not from me testing it because I don't like testing my own weapons in severe environments. I went to, what is that, the, F, the VSO channel? I was watching their shit, and I was watching them trash the shit out of these weapons in dirt and underwater, and this damn thing did well, very well. It actually did better than the Glock, but I think there's some Glock version out there that is designed for underwater, so that's another thing. So anyway, you know, just make sure you get quality magazines. Um, stick with the name, I mean, yeah, I guess there is some better magazines out there for like the AR-15, there are some, some stuff out there that's better than the stock aluminum ones, but for this Beretta, I would stick with their magazines, and you don't need to pay a list price, because that thing might be coming in, that might be coming at us one of these days, man, you know, she's terrible, she's a communist, she wants to disarm us to commit genocide, crazy lady, she's a nut, <laughs> And Rocky the Cat, Rocky the Cat, are you going to take care of that thing? Are you going to take care of that? Are you going to take care of that thing? Are you going to take care of that big lizard woman? I think you will, man. So anyway. Anyway, I figured I'd put this out as a quick update. Um, I don't get too serious on my videos. And uh, I did notice, though, I got the other, I got some other magazines. The stock ones are do have a stronger spring than this. I do notice that. But these work. But then, you know, I most of think about the stronger spring in this would mean this would work better in an adverse environment than this aftermarket one. This aftermarket one works fine in a not, I know, I, I have not, see, I, I don't trash my weapons out, man. I'll watch the VSO channel, let them do that shit to trash their weapons out. I am not doing that to my weapons. I don't give a shit, unless that happens to be that way in this situation. I'm not doing it on purpose, man. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, a little bit of dirt, fine, but not a lot. I'm not throwing them in the dirt and stepping on them like they do. Yeah, I I would almost think that this after even though this aftermarket twenty rounder works very well, and this thing probably would not handle the dirt the way the stock Beretta would. This spring on this Beretta is much, much stronger. Right, Hilda Beast? What do you think about that, huh? <laughs>
Anyway, Rocky don't give a shit. Rocky's not worried about Hilda Beast. He's just going to sit there and trill out and... Right? It's right there by the ammo can because he knows he's well protected. Right? 